My name is Paul Beckett. I am a director with a multidisciplinary environmental consultancy called Florum. The history of knotweed in the UK starts uh, around 1825 when it was first introduced to a botanic garden in Chiswick by Victorian botanists. However, it didn't really take off uh, until it won an award in, in Holland uh, 20 years later um, and then was planted in a lot more gardens. Now its main mechanism of spread is vegetative cuttings uh, and that's cuttings in the root system. Knotweed is essentially a perennial root and the root mass is a bit like an iceberg. Uh, there's a, an awful lot of below ground growth that you can't see. Um, the crowns, which are the, the, the parts above the ground where the shoots emerge, um, belie the uh, mass of root that can be several metres deep and several metres in radius beyond uh, that crown. So it's very easy to take soil from an area that's affected by knotweed without you realising. And as we've increased the amount of movement of soil and waste through construction, through landfilling, uh, and perhaps even the Second World War through, through movement of bomb rubble, that has really um, increased the rate at which knotweed has spread. Identifying Japanese knotweed at a uh, property can be um, difficult because people quite often just focus on the leaf shape. There are lots of plants that have a very similar leaf shape to Japanese knotweed. Japanese knotweed has either a shield-shaped leaf, which has a flat base, or a heart-shaped leaf, which is roughly similar but has, uh, has lobes at, at the base of the leaf, making it heart-shaped. Um, it also has bamboo-like stems, and by bamboo-like I mean it has rings on the stem. Uh, these are nodes that look, make it look like bamboo. Um, but other than that, it has an alternate leafing pattern. So at each node, there's an alternate um, leafing or stem arrangement. So at one node, the leaf will come off this way, the next node will come off this way. Species that look a bit like knotweed, that can be distinguished from very easily, is if, if they have an opposite leafing pattern. So at each node, the leaves or the stems opposite each other. The stems are also hollow, and that's properly hollow. Um, things like dock have a pith in, in their otherwise hollow stem. Knotweed is completely hollow. Uh, it also has purple speckles on the stems, um, uh, and th those are the main things you need to look at when you identify knotweed, not just focus on, on the leaf shape.